Hello and welcome to Touch Plus. My name is Martin Perhiniak. In this video, I'm going to show you how to work with the levels adjustment layer. Similarly to the curves adjustment, this also can help you to change the tonal values of your images and it can also be used for correcting color balance. But in this tutorial, I'm going to focus on the most common adjustments that we do with the levels and that's how we can improve a low key, a high key and a low contrast image here in Photoshop. So as you can see, I have these three photographs. The one on the left, top left, is a high key photo. And we have this one here, which is a low key photograph. And then that one at the bottom left, which is a low contrast image. I have the histogram panel opened and I also have the expanded view made available to be able to see more details whenever I work on these images. When we create the levels adjustment layer, we will see another histogram, but that histogram won't be always the up-to-date version. So I like to keep an eye on the actual histogram while using the levels adjustment layer. And for now, we can just notice that the histograms are very different on all three of these photographs. So on this one here, the high key photo on the top left with the snowy uh, fields and the housing estates in the background, we have most of the uh, values, the tonal values on the right. So in the histogram, we have first of all the shadows on the left, the mid-tones in the middle and the highlights on the right. So it shows clearly that we have mainly highlights and some mid-tones, but hardly any shadows in this image. On the contrary, if I select this one here on the right, the portrait or this uh, image with the light in the back, then we will see that the histogram is the opposite. So this is a low key image. We have most of the uh, tonal values in the shadow range. And we have another image once again, quite different. The one on the bottom left with the boot. And that one is a very low contrast image because we don't have much shadows. We don't have much highlights, real highlights. We have mainly tonal values in the mid tones. So uh, we will have a look at how to improve all of these images, but let's first start with the high key image. So I'm going to switch to another view. From the window arrange, I choose consolidate all two tabs. You can notice that I have a keyboard shortcut for this, uh, but this is a custom keyboard shortcut. So I just selected it and then I set it to full screen. I've just pressed command or control zero to do that. Now I'm going to click on the levels adjustment layer. So that's the second one here in the adjustments panel. And there, as I told you, we will have a duplicate of the histogram we can see here in the histogram panel as well. By the way, if you don't have this panel, you can always find it under the window histogram. And also the adjustments panel is available from here. So once we are in the levels uh, adjustment, I just would like to show you that we actually have this adjustment as a separate layer. So I just show uh, now in the layers panel that we can always turn this off or on back on again. But I would like to see the histogram panel while we are working. So we won't be able to see the layers. Now, if I start moving the shadow slider up or the black point up, we can see that the image will change and it will get a little bit darker in all of the areas but that will also give us more contrast in the image and more depth so let me show before and after here in the histogram as i told you we will see a visual representation of the changes that happen to the histogram since we uh, added these changes in the adjustment panel and you can really easily compare now before in the properties panel and the after in the histogram panel those gaps uh, represents the missing tonal values and that is the problem whenever you go a little bit too far in the histogram so all these details that are missing from uh, the original image are represented with gaps here in the histogram and the more i would do this so i can drag both sides in the more gaps we will see so it's not good to miss any of the original information because that means we are clipping 
uh, information out. So we are setting some of the colors to completely black and some of the colors to completely white. So that's what's happening when you have original details which are clipped by these uh, white or black points. So whenever these details, the original histogram some has some details, and that gets beyond uh, the white point or the black point, they will be all turned to either black or completely white. So that's called clipping, highlight or shadow clipping. And you can also see that by holding down Alt whenever you drag these uh, points. So when you drag the black point, you can see all the details in the image which will be clipped and turned completely into black. And the same with white. Whenever you see details here appearing, that means you will be clipping those details and turn them to completely white. So you want to avoid this. But at the same time, you might want to add more contrast and depth to your images. So it's like a seesaw. You have to balance out what you want to achieve. What I like to do is always have a look at before and after on the image. And you can do that by press and holding on to this little eye icon here at the bottom of the levels panel. So we can see before and after, before and after. Now, in some cases, we would like to keep that faded, low contrast look that we have in this case, on this high key image. But definitely, it's something that we can add. Uh, I mean, we can add contrast by using levels. And I wouldn't go further than this, what I have here, because in this case, I don't have much uh, of the details missing or clipped. I can alt click on the black point and see that mainly this guy here in the front is turned completely to black, while originally he wasn't black, so he wasn't missing from the image. The more I move to the right, the more of these details will be clipped. But I think this is something that we can get away with. And let's have a look at again before and after. So that was the high key image. And that's how we adjusted the high key image. But now let's have a look at the opposite, the low key image. So I'm going to again add a levels adjustment. And do the same thing. Drag this slider down until we get close to the higher amount of information, tonal information in the histogram. So I just get close to these uh, mountains here. And let's have a look at before and after. Once again, we brightened up the image by dragging the white slider further in towards the mid-tone ranges. But we also um, clip some of the colors. If I hold down Alt, I can show you that mainly the, the edges or the rim light uh, is going to be completely turned to white. So that's our clipping. But that is a sacrifice that I allow myself, uh, but having a really nice exposed image. So let's have a look before and after. Once again, we can see the updated histogram here. And uh, you can always check in the histogram each of the color channels separately. And you can also check luminosity or colors or just switch back again to RGB. Let's have a look at the last image now. This one is the low contrast image. I'm going to again add a levels adjustment layer and drag the white slider in. And with this one, we hardly had any clipping issue so far and then drag the one on the left the shadows as well so now let's have a look at before and after and you can see once again we achieved a better result by just clipping the shadows and highlights a bit so we added more contrast to this image we can always play around with the mid-tone as well so if uh, we want to still add a bit more brightness to the image we can drag the mid-tones uh, value to the left or if we want to make it a bit darker we can drag it to the right so that's another value that's good to work with the output levels here at the bottom are something that I usually don't work with but that can also brighten up the image if you drag the black point to the right or darken the image if you drag the white point to the left so it's the opposite to the levels um, or the histogram itself if you use the output levels and there's one more thing I wanted to show you and that's how to use these eyedroppers once again very similar to the curves adjustment layer you can set a gray point by clicking on it so I can click on this image here on an area which I know is neutral and based on that the levels will create a color correction so it will set the color temperature 
uh, the way it should be and that made quite a big difference in this image. If you want to find out more about the values below the histogram, you can find a detailed explanation in this uh, article just below this video. I hope you found this tutorial useful and remember if you want to learn more about the adjustment layers in Photoshop, make sure you join me next time as well here on Tuts Plus. Thanks a lot for your attention and see you next time.